Hey, good Monday morning, everybody. It's a Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Well, some big-time storms came through the area late last night. Not that they were really strong, but boy, did they produce a lot of cloud to ground lightning and heavy rain. That was kind of the leading edge of some warmer air that's moved into the region ahead of what is another cold front. You can see this cold front is poised just to our west, and we've got quite a bit of cloud cover out there today. This front, though, as it moves through later this afternoon and this evening, is going to bring another round of probably some strong thunderstorms, but I think primarily in central and eastern North Carolina. You kind of see we're in a lull right now. The morning storms kind of worked over the atmosphere. And if I throw up the temperatures real quickly here, I just want to show you how much cooler it is behind this frontal boundary compared to ahead of it. So you can see we're currently, we're generally in the 60s and 70s right now, um, but look at the 40s and 50s behind the front. So a pretty dramatic cool down once this front moves through. Um, the back side of this is going to give us some chilly weather for the middle of the week. We might get actually wedged in a little bit um, for the middle of the week as well. A real quick look at the dew points just to show you the contrast in the warm, humid air and the drier air, which is back behind the system. Kind of an impressive little setup here um, as we go through the evening. So let me show you that severe weather out outlook right now. I'm going to pop it up here real quickly, and I'll turn off the satellite imagery just so you can see a little better. So there's our severe weather outlook. You can see most of our region is in a low risk, but we've got this little narrow corridor of a medium risk here. And this is where I think we're going to have enough time for the heating of the day to kind of take over and probably have a bit of better chance for some organized uh, thunderstorms out here. If we're going to see a tornado risk, it would be in that area in the uh, orange, not so much back here um, towards the Charlotte area. But let me kind of show you how this is going to unfold as we go into the uh, late afternoon, really to early evening hours. So you can see at about you know, 9 a.m. when I'm recording this, we've got some isolated showers. But again, we're kind of in that lull. Watch what happens as we go into the afternoon. I'll stop this right around uh, 12 p.m. You can see uh, right at the top of the screen there. This is right around lunchtime. 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. This is about the time it looks like the front is right here. And we're getting some warm, humid air surging in ahead of it. And we're likely going to see at least a broken line of showers and storms develop. This is 4 o'clock and this is 5 o'clock. So again, not a ton of storms, but some that get going, especially around Charlotte. Probably just like this morning, pretty good cloud to ground lightning, some heavy rain. But notice in eastern North Carolina, these are a little bit more isolated in nature. There's some clusters developing here. And this is why I think if we're going to see some more organized storms, possibly rotating storms, they would be in the eastern part of the state. This is 6 o'clock. This is 7 o'clock. This is 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11, and then by midnight things calm down. And then we'll go to 1 o'clock in the morning, and you can see 2 o'clock, everything's calmed down. So we'll loop this, I'll let this loop a couple times just to show you. And this is the next 18 hours, it kind of shows you the evolution of that system kind of developing and then pushing off to the east. So again, not a huge risk today. Um, I'll go back to the time frame when this thing starts to bubble up, and I'll real quickly turn on the day one. Uh, thunderstorm outlook you kind of see I always like to line these up to show you kind of where the storms will probably be severe and you can see right in here that's the area we'll be watching this afternoon between about 4 p.m. and I'd say 7 to 8 p.m. this evening gives you a real good idea and again the primary concern here is going to be straight line winds but in areas between Raleigh, Fayetteville, Greenville, Jacksonville out towards the coast we'll have to watch the potential that some of these could be um, rotating possibly some small hail in them as well and I would say a two percent tornado probability there the rest of the state it's probably one percent or less as the system moves in so not a huge deal today certainly nothing like last Monday when we and Tuesday when we had a much bigger system move through the area today it's just a cold front and then get ready big time cool down for the middle of the week with cloudy drizzly misty conditions kind of a return back to March weather as we look ahead to the middle of the week